Athens are just about complete now for the hugely popular Waterfront Blues Fest. The music starts tomorrow down at Waterfront Park, and organizers say this year's event will top them all. More than 120 performances are planned over the next four days, but there is one big change to keep in mind this year. On the last day, the lineup is so sensational that you will need a pass to get in. It is really an unbelievable lineup, and uh, you won't want to miss it, I can tell you that. That final day performance features former Led Zeppelin lead singer Robert Plant and his new band, the Sensational Shapeshifters. Passes for Sunday are still available. They're $50. $10 and two cans of food, though, will get you in the other three days of the Blues Fest. And that is, of course, Oregon Food Bank's largest fundraiser of the year. And along with the Blues Fest come the boats, dozens of them anchored right offshore at Tom McCall Waterfront Park. They've been there for a while. This year, there are some concerns, though, about the people who hang out there for weeks at a time. Chris Woodard is live along the river now, and the boats just keep coming, Chris. Yeah, for about two weeks now, probably more than two weeks, these boats have been stopping, dropping anchor, and staying put. If you take a look, the marina back there looks about twice as big as it normally would because there are so many boats stopped. Now, they're all there for the Blues Festival. They'll be there till the Blues Festival is done, and as the numbers keep growing, they're all being watched. As he rolls along the Willamette in his dinghy, John Allman is heading home. And right behind that hatch is washer dryer. Home, at least for eight days, is his boat, along with dozens of others tied together and anchored down in the punch bowl. Everybody goes from one boat to the other, eating and drinking everything everybody else has got. They're all here for the Blues Festival and the 4th of July fireworks that come with it. They'll tell you this is the best seat in the house. We don't have to be up there in the grass packed like sardines. And it's free. For the most part, uh, people gather to have a good time. The Multnomah County River Patrol is watching closely. Usually there's, there's not a whole lot of problems that are encountered during a, an event such as this. It is a mixture of large, expensive yachts and the vessels of transient boaters. I think sometimes that us live aboards that, that are transient boaters get a bad rap out here at times. There have been complaints, concerns about trash and human waste. I try to keep the beaches clean and try to help. By law, anyone can anchor or dock on the river and stay in the same place for 30 days before being asked to move. It really is one big happy time down here. This week, plenty are taking advantage. I believe they should have the right to sit in the water and enjoy it for free. You can't hold music out of the sky. You can't get the wave wings and bring them back in. A lot of the boaters down here also do their part to support the nonprofit cause of Blues Festival. There are flags they can buy for their boats, run them up the mast. Those flags say Blues Festival, and all the proceeds from the sales of those flags go to Oregon Food Bank. Reporting live downtown, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.